Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're going to talk about one of our latest acquisitions. Tell you, 1956, if you had a 56 Ford Sunliner convertible, oh my gosh, that would be the cat's meow. I'll give you all the details in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about our latest acquisition, a 1956 Ford Sunliner convertible. And I've always been a 1956 Ford lover. Just really think Ford really hit, hit out of the ballpark on this one. Uh, you're gonna to have to watch this entire video from start to finish. That way you'll be able to look at all the details. We'll do a walk around, we'll do a cold start. And if you need more information, you can click on the link in the description. It'll take you right to our website where all the information will be on this car, pricing and whatnot. And our website being www.ellingsunmotorcars.com. And if you go to that website, you'll find this car and close to 100 additional collector vehicles that currently are in inventory. You can give us a call at any time, 763-428-7337. But yes, that's all the cars there. We have stuff from the 1920s all the way up into the 1970s and beyond. So chances are Ellingson Motor Cars probably has that dream vehicle you've been looking for for a long time. Well, if you're looking for a 56 Ford Sunliner convertible, me, like I said, 56 Ford uh, has always been one of my favorites, no matter what, and whoever did this car really had a great color combination, mandarin orange with colonial white. I mean, is that not personified a, a you know, 1950s color combination? And like I said, they ordered the V8, the 292 V8, and you've got power brakes on this car, which is really a nice thing to have on these big cars. If you're going down the road or whatever, it's just the touch of the pedal and you can come to a complete stop. You know, ford automatic, automatic transmission, something that anybody can jump in this car and drive. Now, one of the other nice things besides the beautiful paint, great color, all the nice chrome work and everything on this car is I love the wide white wall tires. I mean, and they are radials. Of course, radial tires weren't available in 1956, but I'll tell you what, for the ride and comfort and the ease, radial tires is by far one of the biggest improvements that you can have on one of these collector cars, in my opinion. And I guess I've been around this a long time and it really, really sets a car off as well, just with the looks. And they have the upgraded wire hubcaps, full hubcaps, really nice, nice addition. Lots of other nice stuff as well. Of course, we've got a power top if, with power brakes. You've got a power top, a white vinyl top. Really is nice, goes up with a mirror of a turn of a little switch and you can get yourself uh, out of the rain. I guess if I own a convertible, the top's gonna be down 99.9% .9 of the time. And maybe if I planned poorly, that would be the only time I'd have to put the top up. But yes, it's just one of those things. All the Fords and almost all the cars that are here were all looking for that forward look, the jet airplane hood ornaments and you know the side sweeping chrome that makes the car look like it's moving down the road while it's sitting still. I always like the little Thunderbird V8. They got the little emblem on the front fender, so you always look at that. And they also have the Sunliner right here. They have, make sure you know that that is a Sunliner to say the least. Other nice thing that I really like about these old cars are vent windows. It was just one of those things. It was a, you know, our early form of air conditioning, or at least to clear out the cigarette smoke for mom and dad. But, you know, it's just one of those things that I've always liked. Miss those in the new cars today. Don't have such a thing. Beautiful interior, correct for 1956. A vinyl two-tone, really with the orange type carpet. No one has fiddled around with this car, which is another thing that I personally really like. They've got all the original instrumentation. You got the original AM radio. I mean, it is just probably the way that it, someone ordered this car in 1956. Several other nice options. It does have the fender skirts and a Continental kit. A Continental kit is one of those things that always, you know, makes it a little longer, maybe a little harder to parallel park, but I mean, it just really is one of those things that make 50s cars look like 50s cars. Dual exhaust, beautiful sound of this car, chrome tips, just really has a really nice look. Now you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like, 
Leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. It gives you all the information on this car, our current inventory, and as an added bonus, it actually has some of the cars we've sold over the years as well. So if you got time to peruse those sites, take a look. You always find interesting stories and cars that we've sold in the past and what we currently have as well. Nice thing about this car, beautiful underside. And you know, I guess if you're a, in this day and age, you probably want to make sure you got room for a couple sets of golf clubs. Well, that trunk has more than enough room for a couple sets of clubs. In the old days, we used it to smuggle in kids into the drive-ins, but that's a whole nother story for something out of the 50s. Talk to anyone, they'll probably tell you stories. My sister was claustrophobic, so she didn't do that. But yeah, it's just one of those cars that really sets itself out to be a really, really beautiful color combination for the 19, mid 1950s. But if you're like me, you're gonna say, you know, I really like your video, I really like your pictures, but I gotta come down and take a look at it in person. <laughs> By all means, we are open Monday through Friday from 10 to five and Saturdays 10 to four. If you wanna come down in person and really take a look at it, make sure you fit all that necessary stuff. We are happy to have you come by. Now we can also assist you with uh, any other questions you may have, just give us a call. It's 763-428-7337. Uh, or and we can also help you with the uh, shipping. If you are, you know, buy, we sell car, we're in Minnesota, you're in California, you're in Florida, you're in Texas, you're on the other side of the world. We can certainly send cars any place, anywhere for you as well. Uh, the other thing that we can also help you with is uh, financing. We can send you in the direction of several of our vendors that we use that are very familiar with old cars. They understand collector car market and whatever, and they can help you get your financing arranged for in many different uh, ways for having that perfect car that you've always dreamed of having. Like I said, I'm a 1956 Ford guy. I just love this wide trim, you know, the, the way you always can tell. My easiest way for me between a 55 and a 56, 55 trim is really skinny, 56 trim is really wider. Look at that, oh, I forgot, nice boot as well. Really a nice extra touch. So if you're looking for that classic, you're looking for that first car, or maybe it's your 100th car and you need one of these in your collection, by golly, we have a great example right here on the sales floor at Ellingson Motor Cars. And remember that website, www.ellingsonmotorcars.com. Thank you and we'll see you next time.